There is a new buzzword in DIY for sustainability, upcycling. This is the process of converting old or discarded materials into something new, useful, and beautiful. With the Norton ProSand, it's easier than ever to upcycle that hidden treasure. Using Norton ProSand, our next generation 3X technology line of sandpaper and sponges, we'll walk you through the full grit range to strip away old coatings and wear of this dresser smooth the surface, and finish with a combination of paint and finish as a total sanding sequence. Along the way, we'll add a few tips and highlights that may be useful for other refinishing projects around the house. The first step in a refinishing upcycling project is stripping. Grits within the stripping category are designed with heavy material removal in mind whether it is a poly finish or paint. Aside from furniture refinishing, you'd also use 60 and 80 grit coarse grit paper for stripping metal paint, rust or corrosion from patio furniture, swing sets, garage doors and more. We recommend starting with the coarsest grit to get the job done without over sanding. For our project, an 80 grit will work just fine to take the existing finish off. Be sure to fold your sandpaper for maximum utility of the total surface and to keep the paper from slipping in your grip. The Norton Pro Fold is an ideal method for sanding made easier. Start by folding a sheet into quarters. Tear or cut from the top of the sheet to the center along one of the folds. Then you'll fold down one flap fold the sheet over and then fold down the back flap. Simply fold back the used flap to expose a new side as needed. Now, remove the drawers from the dresser and work through each individual piece, making sure to remove all the old finish so you're left with a bare surface. This step is likely the bulk of your sanding time, but it's critical to the overall finish. We've made Norton Pro Sand with a premium ceramic alumina grain and anti-clog coating to speed up the process to get through it faster with a consistent surface finish to further enhance your end result. For those hard to reach areas of the job, use a Norton Pro Sand 5X sponge. After you've completed stripping your project with Norton Pro Sand coarse grit paper, you're ready to move on to the smoothing step in the process to get ready for the top coat of stain or paint. Smoothing is the intermediate preparation step that is vital in avoiding a poor or disappointing final finish. Grits within the smoothing category are 100, 120, and 150 medium grits designed for preparation to smooth down the surface of wood, metal, plastic, and painted materials. As you can see, the coarseness of the Norton Pro Sand sandpaper used during the stripping process needs to be smoothed out to remove the sanding scratches and surface imperfections to effectively accept whatever finish you apply in the end. Since we started with 80 grit, we would use 120 grit and sponges for smoothing out hard to reach areas before moving to finishing. This is also where you would perform any needed repairs to your piece including filling any indentations or deep scratches, smoothing out protrusions, or addressing uneven legs before moving onto the finishing step. After you've completed the repairs and smoothing with Norton Pro Sand Medium Grit Paper, you're ready to move on to the finishing step in the process, where you'll apply paint or stain to your project. At this point, we've removed all the paint or stain in the stripping process and we've prepped the surface in the smoothing process. We're now ready to complete our project and have chosen to apply stain and finish to the wood dresser drawers while painting the dresser frame white for a nice contrast. Grits within the finishing category are 180, 220, 320, and 400 fine grits designed for light sanding between coatings of unfinished wood, trims, railings, 
and more where a premium sheen is key to the final result. The finishing category of sandpaper is used for sanding between coats of all paints and finishes. 180 grit is recommended for sanding the first coat of water-based or oil-based sanding sealer, 220 for a satin finish, 320 for semi-gloss, and 400 for gloss. Paintwork is probably the most versatile refinish step. It can be a single color, two colors, or many colors, and be made to look glossy, matte, distressed or creative with a design, stencil, or pattern. Start by applying primer to the dresser. This will fill in the pores of the wood to create a level surface for the top coat. Once dry, lightly sand with 220 grit to abrade the surface. Next, apply the first coat of paint. Once dry, lightly sand with 320 for satin or semi-gloss paint or 400 for gloss paint and then put the final coat on the dresser. We've chosen to finish our dresser with stain and a water-based sealer for a natural look. We'll work the drawers with the stain. Once dry, we'll use a 180 grit for our initial sanding between coats to lightly abrade the surface to give some grab for the next coat to adhere. We'll end with a 320 grit sandpaper before applying the final coat of finish. Once this coat has dried and the knobs have been replaced, the drawers are complete and your upcycled project is ready to take on another 20 years of its repurposed use. Norton Pro Sand. Get it finished.